Welcome to the Ogre's Channel. Thanks for watching today. Let's talk about a cheese to Harrower Dervia, the pledge tonight in Lords of the Fallen. Now, uh, there are two phases of this boss fight. Phase one is going to be a normal, uh, slow distance poison cheese, and phase two is going to be a glitch cheese. That uh, I'm going to do my best to show you how it happens, even though I'm not exactly sure I'm going to let you see the footage in its entirety, and maybe you can replicate it in a similar way, but you're not going to have to fight the Pledge Knight at all in Phase 2, which is obviously the harder of the two phases. Now, when you go into the boss battle here, you are going to have to get the summon who's outside the arena. The summon is required for this particular cheese. Now, when you go in there, Dervy is going to go after your summon, pretty much guaranteed. They don't really bother with you at all as long as the summon is alive. And um, all you're going to want to do is throw out the Forsaken Grenade at uh, Dervia here. Now when you get her poisoned, all you need to do at this point is stand back while she's attacking your summon and just simply have, you know, your javelin or your spears or whatever throwable that you want that can do the most amount of damage and just simply stand back and throw your items at her. And as soon as you run out, use your ammunition pouch to replenish that and continue getting those throwables constantly taking away HP. All along while your poison is also taking away HP and your summon is taking away HP, so you have no combat pretty much here. You're just standing back and watching her health bar slowly disappear. Now, phase two is a very interesting phase here. Now, phase two is obviously significantly harder, and we're going to start off doing the exact same strategy. Get her poison with the forsaken grenades, stand back, got her little javelin out, we're throwing it. She's attacking our summon over here, but some reason or another, and you can watch the footage here. Maybe you can uh, figure out how to replicate it exactly. But if your summon dies in this little area over here, near sort of the uh, throne area or the little cave area, for some reason, Dervia does not actually change the attack pattern. She continues to attack the summon as if the summon was still there. And um, you can just simply stand back as I'm in the whole other side of the arena here, throw my little forsaken grenades, getting the poison going, and continue taking that damage away. And um, for some reason, she glitches out, she thinks her summon is still alive, and will continue to attack that area for a solid, like, I'm not kidding, like a minute or two minutes while you just stand back and watch the HP drain away. Now, at the very end of this footage, she does finally notice me when she has like, I don't know, like 2% of her health left, begins to walk over to me, but it's too late at that point, and she passes away shortly after that. But there's something about having your summon die in this particular area that causes her to glitch out, and um, it's going to be a pretty much guaranteed victory when you can achieve that. If you know exactly what caused the glitch, feel free to comment down below. Help out the entire community so everyone get this wonderful cheese to work perfectly, but it's something about this area with the summon passing away. If you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check my other videos listed up above, and as always, go out there, find a great game to play. Simply have a great rest of the day.